Good morning everybody and welcome to Will on Safety. Today I thought we'd talk about health and safety conversations. I promise you I am uh, talking to you in the here and now. I'm not a health and safety robot sent from the future to improve safety in the past. What you're seeing in my glasses is just my light ring. So in terms of health and safety conversations, what do I mean by that? You may well see individuals, operators, shop floor employees that do the wrong thing sometimes. You may well see management that do the wrong thing sometimes. And I think sometimes health and safety professionals can get it wrong in terms of the way they approach individuals that may well be doing the wrong thing. Sometimes, you know, folks will go up to those individuals and it's straight into a bollocking and telling off scenario. Why haven't you got your health and safety glasses on? Why haven't you got your hearing protection in? If I see you again, you know, it'll be a warning, for example. You can flip those conversations around. I found when I was serving in the military, I used to hate people that would approach me like that. Why are you not doing this? Why are you, you know, using this procedure? Why haven't you done this? Why haven't you done that? And my question would always be, why do I have to do something that way? Um, why, you know, are you saying this to me? Why do I have to do that? And I see, people, you know, management not doing the same thing. And it always used to frustrate me. So now I try and flip those conversations on their head. Whenever somebody isn't doing the, the right thing, my initial process now is to approach them and have a conversation with them. It's not a bollocking. It's not a telling off. It's not a you must do this because that's what the procedure says. If I see somebody not wearing safety glasses, for example, I go up to them and say, you know, you're in a you're in a mandatory zone where safety glasses are mandated to be in use. Can I just ask why you're not why you're not using the safety glasses initially. That opens the floor to them. Maybe they have an issue with them, maybe they're not comfortable, maybe they're the wrong fit. They could then come to you with an issue that you might be able to help resolve. Secondly, I would then ask them, you know, when you're in these mandated zones, please respect the personal uh, protection that you should be wearing. And if there's an issue with the type of protection you're wearing, come and come and see me and we can work together to find a workable solution. And thirdly, I just explain the why. And this is super important. Explaining the why for things is so underutilised. I, I, I can't believe I have to do a video on it. If I'm telling somebody to do something in a certain way or... For example, use PPE over and above uh, what they'd expect to use. So let's take grinding or something like that, for example. It's in a mandatory <clears throat> safety glasses zone. And we may well have had an accident where ejected materials gone under the safety glasses and got into the eye. So therefore, we'll ch review the risk assessment, change PPE requirement. You've got to wear safety glasses and over the top of the safety glasses, either goggles or a visor. Because it's changed that employees aren't always uh, used to, they'll be questioning, why have we done this? And if we're not good at communicating the why there's a change and the why you now have to do things in a certain way, it's going to be very difficult for the employees, shop floor workers, whoever it might be, to accept that change. You know, so. If it was me, when I have those safety conversations with people, I'd go, we had an accident a few weeks ago, or we've had a few near misses, whatever the case may well be. So we've had to change what we're doing in the area now to try and reduce those, um, those occurrences and reduce the, risk, the likelihood of the risk happening again. It always, it's always been a safety glasses protection zone however 
you know, we found that there was a, an accident or an ear miss where some ejector material has got under the safety glass and unfortunately injured one of your colleagues. So therefore, we're now requiring a visor or maybe safety goggles. Explaining the why to people will, one, make sure that it's accepted a lot easier than it than it would be by just going, now you must do this, and there's no reasoning for it at all. So explain the why. And as you're having a two-way conversation with employees, it also enables them to go, do you know what, I don't think that would work. So maybe you're wearing a visor over safety glasses, for example. Well, the ejected material can still get underneath. Okay, so we'll go goggles then. Well, that's okay, but if you're, um, you know, if if you're at the station all the time, maybe if you have to wear goggles, they're a bit heavier. They're not as comfortable. The employee may well say, "Have you seen the safety glasses with the uh, with the foam filters? You know, they're 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 really good. They stop ejected materials getting underneath, and it can just help you implement something that's going to be better suited." to the crowd that you're trying to protect. If you make PPE um, easy to use, comfortable for people, they're more likely to wear it. You're not gonna have to police it as much. You're gonna have less health and safety conversations to have to do. So communication, like with all safety, is imperative to safety. Having those safety conversations about anything, not just PPE, it could be a process, a procedure that you've put in place, is imperative. It opens up the two-way conversation. It allows you to put your ideas to across to employees and explain the reason why. And it also allows employees to question your rationale and that might lead you to making a better decision or implementing something in a better way. So it's a win-win for both parties. So let's turn around this, um, you know, penalisation system of just saying to employees, why are you not doing this? Why are you not, you know, following the procedure? You should have your safety glasses on and open up those open conversations. And that's the key word, not a closed conversation where it's one way direct in traffic. You know, make it open, make it two-way. You'll be received better. Folks are more likely to adhere to any sort of implementation that, that you've put forward. And it also enables them to give you ideas on how to best protect the areas. But I hope you found uh, this video, uh, you know, I hope you found it useful. I hope um, you're enjoying the channel when on safety. If you haven't already, please do me a favour, just hit that subscribe button at the bottom there. It's free to do, it helps Will On Safety grow into a bigger community. Also like, share uh, the channel as well and hit that notification bell, little bell there. That'll just inform you whenever I post more content. But until next time folks, remember, stay safe by choice and not by chance. Take care everybody, have a blessed day, bye.